Bam! She was she was shocked. Nico wanted to shut down the job site. I mean, will partners in building be happy? Welcome back to an emergency edition of Credit Card Wars Part 149, Shower Glass Ideas. My goal today is to provide value. If I provide value, make sure you guys hit the like. If you want to follow my custom build journey, go ahead and hit subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started on Shower Glass Ideas. In this house, to, to start off, we have four stand-up showers. So, so four stand-up showers, and we also have a bathtub that you can take a shower in. So I consider that we have five showers in this house. So let's, let's get that out of the way. The last few weeks, while they were finishing up the drywall, this is what the showers look like. So I'm gonna quickly go through all the showers Those are all of our stand up showers. So five total showers. Everything is going along well. Our partner, wait, I should have mentioned this. My partner is Partners in Building. They don't sponsor this channel. Josh, my site manager, did give my son a baseball cap. So thanks a lot, Josh. We, we were fine. Everybody is doing their best. To, to keep the job site moving along. So recently, Nico was gonna go to Palm Springs to meet up with her girlfriends. Whoa, look at these hotties. Let's, let's get back on track, let's get back on track. So before she went to Palm Springs, we had a few extra hours, so she wanted to see the job site before she went. So we rolled up to the job site and, and we took a walk through the house. Bam! She was she was shocked. Nico wanted to shut down the job site. I mean, will partners in building be happy? Anyways, let's let's take a look to see why she's so unhappy with the glass shower. So let's look at the first shower. This is our master shower. Master. I'm gonna take my time to describe what you guys are seeing here. So there is a, a rain head coming from the ceiling. So we're gonna be making it rain every morning. Then it's gonna be pretty much all glass. The front is all glass and one side is all glass. Because the shower itself is five to six inches below, the shower glass could pretty much start from the floor and go all the way up. We were supposed to have a vanity, a built-in vanity, 
on, on, on one side of the shower, but we, we removed it. Did we get credit for that? But we removed it. We're gonna throw a table in there for Nico to do her makeup. So that is the look that Nico imagined she was gonna have throughout all the showers. And I, I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. Back in April, we sat down for weeks. I mean, we sat down a few times with John, our sales manager, and we drew out the home. That process is called the full draw. So we will, we will talk about the full draw in another video, but in that process, we draw out the rooms, the closets, the bathrooms, the kitchen, all that stuff is dialed in. We approved it. So Neve and I, we approved it. Then we are sent over to the design center where we met with Cheryl, our designer. And that's where Nico picked out glass, tile, flooring, all those things that go into the bathroom. So we did that together. So all the things that we did at the full draw and at the design center, what Nico saw today, well not today, but recently, she was shocked by. So let's see why she was shocked. So the master bathroom was fine. Let's walk over to our pool bath. We don't have a pool, so I don't know why the builder, partners of building, they call it the pool bath. Maybe they'll give me a pool. Anyways, so this is why she's shocked. There looks like they're building some type of stud structure to, to put up some type of divider between the shower and the bathroom. So again, maybe this is what we, we picked out but Nico does not like this look. So the look that we like, let's let's talk about it. So we're gonna we're gonna rip all this out. I mean, I hope I hope so. And pretty much because this shower is very similar to the master where it, where it's on the first floor, when they poured the concrete, the shower itself is about five or six inches below. So so Josh and the team, they're gonna be able to run. The, sh the shower glass from the floor all the way up to a standard height. So all of the showers I'm gonna talk about today, the glass will be standard height. I don't know what the standard height is, but that's what we can only afford. The second thing I need to point out is that all of the shower glass will be frameless. So there's gonna be no type of hardware showing frame-wise. So going back to the pool bath, the pool bath again is gonna be coming from the shower. It's gonna come from the ground all the way up. There will be this seating area in the shower. This seating area will come out and the glass will wrap around it. So, so there will be a seating area. The seating area serves you know, probably two purposes I can see. First, it's a seating area. And second, it's gonna be an area where we can put our shampoo and soap. So that's the pull down. So that's what Nico saw, she wasn't happy. We're gonna rip that all out and we're gonna run glass all the way up. Let's walk over to, let's call this bath two. So bath two, we made a strategic decision. We wanted to have a second bathtub. So besides the master bathroom, which will have its own standalone tub, we also wanted to have a second bedroom that had a bath. Our thinking was in the future, if we sold it, maybe the next future owner would want a bedroom on the first floor where there is a, a bath, a bathtub. The thinking that we had was that maybe it's an in-law that's living with them and they're helping out. They want to like give your, your kid a shower, a bath. So that's why we have a bathtub in the second bedroom that's located on the first floor. So that's our, our thinking behind it. So this, this is fine. There's no problems here with this bathroom, with this shower. So let's, let's go upstairs. Here is my office. So I mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. I think it's a good idea if you have an office, watch it throw in the closet, throw in the bathroom, now it's, now it's actually a bedroom. So my office technically is a bedroom, but that's where I'm gonna work from. So here, here I'm gonna describe what we're seeing here. So the, the team, again, they, 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 they installed these studs and it looks like they're gonna start framing something. Nico does not want that. So 
This is what we asked Josh if it's possible. So we don't know if it's possible yet. Any of the stuff, we don't know what's possible. But pretty much what's gonna happen is, on the left side, there, there's gonna be a vanity. And there's no way for us to rip out the vanity because there's only one vanity in this bathroom. So what we're doing is this. We're gonna keep that wall. So that vanity is gonna butt up against that wall, that shower wall. And then on the other side of that shower wall, is gonna be a seat, the bench. So again, we talked about the purpose of the bench. What's gonna happen next is, because we're on the second floor now, there will be a little lip on the ground so the water doesn't splash out. But from that lip, let's call it the two by four, you know, they're obviously gonna tile around it. But that's where we're gonna run glass all the way up. So the wall where the, the seating is and the vanity, glass is gonna come up. Then moving forward, there's obviously gonna be a door and then there's gonna be all glass. So that's what we're hoping that Josh and John can, 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 can make it happen. So finally, the last stand-up shower that I wanna point out is, I call it the Jack and Jack. The reason I call it the Jack and Jack is because I have two boys, I don't have a girl. So this is the Jack and Jack bathroom. The Jack and Jack bathroom looks simple. It's just, you know, the shower is, is inside as you guys can see. They've already, again, they surprised us by, by putting up this, this wood framing. It looks like they're gonna sheet rock halfway up. So we're, we, we, we probably don't want that to happen. Looks like what we're gonna do is we're gonna have them rip out these studs. There's gonna be a lip below. There will be a seating. So again, the seating will come out and we'll run glass all the way up. So not only will there be a door, there will also be um, glass going above the seat, door, so it's gonna be all glass, up to the standard height. So, I hope this video helps out some of you guys. Um, let's go ahead and let's see if John thinks this is serious. John, John obviously is not taking this serious. So, you guys, I will say this, cause you know, we've talked about this in the past. With a custom build, there's, there's obviously a lot of moving parts dress-wise, but what I love the most with the custom build is that at any time, as long as you want to pay for it, anything can happen. You can make it work with your site manager. My site manager is Josh. So you guys, it looks like Nico, well, I don't know if she legally can shut down the job site. I don't even own this home, the bank does, but looks like we are good to go. She's, she's having drinks at Palm Springs. She doesn't even know that I'm on the ground here trying to help, help, help out the situation. So thanks again for following the journey. If you guys have any questions, put the questions below. Until then, I will see you guys next time on Credit Card Wars Part 150.